this video, I'm gonna cover how to duplicate a page and then also expand that into products, blog posts, events, and things like that. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to pages. One thing to understand with Squarespace is that every product and item and page always has a settings button. So every single item has a settings button. You just have to find it. Sometimes they're located in different places. But once you find it, you'll know exactly how to duplicate content. So the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate the home page. I know it's a home page because it has this little page icon, not the car or not a link or this is for a blog. So I'll hover over it and then I will click settings. That little gear wheel there is settings. Once you're in here under general, which shows up natively, you'll scroll to the bottom and you'll see duplicate page. Once you hit duplicate, confirm, and then you are good to go. You could say home V2. I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna hit save. A few things to keep in mind when you duplicate content especially if your website is live, is this. First thing I'm gonna do on this page is I'm gonna go over it and then click settings. If I was gonna be setting this up as my new home page uh, and I wanna work on it, in the meantime, I might disable the page. That means no one can access it who is not logged into the site. I may also go to SEO and hide this page so that it doesn't show up in search results as well. If you disable the page, it definitely will not show up in search, but these are two layers of protection as you work through the process. And finally, I would just keep in mind that it says V2 here, and in the end, we're definitely not gonna want that. So I would change this, I'd remove it, and then I'd remove it from here. And then I would make sure the URL slug is relevant. So in this case, I'm just gonna call it index for a homepage index, but yeah, we'll wanna make sure it doesn't have a dash one or five or sample page or new page 72, none of that uh, when you're optimizing. So that sets up all of that. So that is the only thing to keep in mind if your site is live. And then from there, click save. All right, so now we have duplicated a page. Let's go into a store and duplicate a product. So I am going to click on products and let's say I wanna add a new piece of jewelry to the jewelry collection um, and I wanna duplicate from there. You could duplicate any product, but let's just start with that. So I will click here on jewelry and then I will hover over the product. Now, there are a few ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you this way first. You'll see these three dots show up. If I'm not there, they're not there. So if I hover over that, this is where you'll find the setting. So I'll click on that and then I will click edit and then it will bring up this style editor. Then I'll scroll to the very bottom and then click duplicate. This is really useful if you spent a lot of time customizing this entire page so that you have the same information, same layout on every page. Especially if you're adding a lot of information to additional info uh, you don't have to recreate it every single time. Now it's created a new version of it. What you'll see here is it says copy. So you wanna make sure you update that, update obviously all the copy, the description, the images. But what you also wanna keep in mind, again, if your site is live and this product is going live immediately, the SEO and URL, you definitely want to click into this edit and make sure you update this because this is a horrible URL. So you wanna update it with the right URL from the beginning. So you could change that and then you could work on SEO as well. So I'll close that for now. And then just so you have an idea, there are two options. You could save and just keep it on the back end. You don't have to publish it necessarily, or you can save and publish it. So if I hover over done here, you'll see it gives me two, actually gives me a few options. You could also schedule it, but you could save it, which means it won't publish it, but it's on the back end of your site now. And then you could save and publish. So it goes live immediately. You could schedule it or just get rid of it. So let's just hit save for now and you'll see it's been added. It says hidden, so it's not live. That's why you don't see it here. And you've just duplicated a product. Now let's duplicate a blog post. So I'm gonna hover over the pen here and click on articles. And then once I'm in here, it's a very similar process. You just hover over the blog post that you want to duplicate, and then you click on the three little dots. And this time they make it a little bit easier. So you could just click duplicate right here which is really useful and easy. 
So I highly recommend having a blog post template, especially if you are publishing blogs consistently and you're taking a bit of time to format it each and every time. So for example, here in this blog post, you could see on the sample website that I have an image up here and then I have another image with some text in between. Instead of having to recreate this every single time, well, I create it once and then I could just hover over this and click duplicate and just like that it'll create a new blog post for me with all the same properties features components content and then from there i could go in and change it so rather than having to go through the process over and over again where you click the plus side add an image and click the plus sign add text and go through all that you have a template already built it may take a little bit of trial and error to get the right template but it does save time long term if you are constantly publishing blog posts Okay, so let's do this for events. So you could see here it shows events and that's highlighted. So I'll click on that. And then in here, same thing, three dots. You could click on that and duplicate. And then finally for portfolio, I'm going to click into the portfolio and same thing, three dots. Then you have to click settings and then you scroll down and you could duplicate it from here. Final part of this video that I want to highlight is let's say you want to duplicate a whole site. Well, you can do that. So if you want to duplicate a whole website, just make sure you're at account.squarespace.com. All right. So once you've done that, you just hover over these three dots similar to the other processes, and then you'll just click duplicate website. It'll ask you, are you sure you'll say yes. And then it'll start the process, depending on how big the site is or complex or whatever it may be. It may take a few minutes, but it is now working. As you can see here, it's already at step three of four copying the content and now it is building the site and then you just duplicated the website. And just like that, it duplicated the website. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week, hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.